everybody. Welcome to Shopping with Shayna. So it is Monday, November 6th, as I am uh, making this video for you. Uh, we have an updated must-do deals video on deals that are running from November 1st through the 7th of 2023. Uh, but no worries if you are watching this late on the 7th or even on the 8th or later. That will just be week two of our buy six or more, save 50 cents each mega sale. So you can still check out some of these deals and uh, just double check and make sure they're all still available to you after the 8th and on. So guys, um, do me a huge favor. If you like to save money at Kroger, hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, hit all so you don't miss any of my videos. And we're going to jump right on in and find out these new updated deals. All right, guys, check your digital coupons. Not only did I get a digital coupon, but I also got a Catalina that printed to let me know. And to be honest with you, I wasn't really paying attention to it all that, you know, well, I, I, I did see the free single bakery donut. I did load it, but I didn't realize it was one per day and it's going to be all the way until December 31st. So this is a really cool, um, um, not does, you know, it doesn't mean I'm actually going to go to Kroger every single day to get my free donut, but if I'm already at Kroger, why not grab my free donut um, and give it to my kiddos or whatever the situation may be? So one free donut. Check your account. See if you have this free single bakery donut per day. Limit one per day and uh, load it and grab your free donut. Hey, you know, give it to um, a friend or something like that. Make their day. They're going to think, oh, you thought of me. <laughs> and really, you just got your free donut. So anyway, I just thought this was a kind of a cool deal. And the fact that we're getting it through December 31st, like really awesome deal. All right, so I'm going to start out with our buy six or more, save 50 cents each mega sale. I do want to warn you or tell you to go watch the av uh the ad preview that starts on the 8th that I posted on um, Sunday, uh, I will have it linked in the description box. And also at the very end of this video, you can click on the um, end screen to watch it. A lot of these items are going up in price. For instance, the green giant canned um, green beans and corn or whatever else it may be is going to be 60, what did I say, 62 cents or something like that. 65 cents. I can't remember exactly what it is. Maybe 69 cents. I think that's it. Sorry, guys. My brain is crazy. 69 cents. A lot of the 99 cent items like the Dole uh, pineapple is going to go up to $1.49. So we're going to see a lot of prices increase this next week. So definitely go check out that video and see what's going to happen. See what items you want to definitely get to the store and purchase this week as we're going to see items go up like crazy. So definitely want to get them when they're cheaper. But let me show you the new matchups that I have for this mega sale. All right, first is the cheese it snapped or puffed. You need to grab two bags or you can mix and match them. Grab one of each. They're regularly priced $4.79. They're on sale for $3.49 and mega sale for $2.99. And they're going to be $5.98 total out of pocket. But then I bought it. It's going to get $1.50 back on two. It's a limit of one time. Makes the final cost $4.48 total or $2.24 each. Now, I'm not real sure about the snapped, but my kiddos love the puffed. So, you know, that, that may be an option for me. Next deal we have here is the Kraft Frozen Mac and Cheese Meals. These are regularly priced $3.99. They're on sale for $3.79 and make it sale for $3.29 each. Now, out of pocket, you're going to pay $3.29, but then we're going to submit to Ibotta for $1.25 back on one. It's a limit of five times, and so your final cost for these is just $2.04 each. I thought this was a pretty decent deal. Next deal we have here is the Pillsbury Cake Mix. Now these are regularly priced $1.99. They are part of the mega sale for $1.49 each, and you don't have to have any extra specialized coupons. You're just going to get these for $1.49. I know with the holidays coming up and you're probably going to be baking and cooking and things like that, you may want to throw this into the mix or throw it into your cart so you have the option to make cake or cupcakes for you know Thanksgiving or Christmas. So the next deal I have for you is a part of the free Thanksgiving meal that Ibotta is offering. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I did do a whole specialized video on it last week. So definitely go check that out and see how you can load up these free these free deals. Um, now, I have not unlocked my free sides yet, but once you do, this one is going to be free and a huge moneymaker 
Fingers crossed we don't see a price go up on this cranberry sauce, but the Ocean Spray Cranberry Sauce is regularly priced $2.49. It's on sale for $1.49 and make a sale for just $0.99. Cents. Now, you'll pay that out of pocket, but then Ibotta is giving back a whole $2.65 back on one. It's limited one time. Makes the final cost completely free in a $1.66 moneymaker. This is a really, really awesome deal. Um, now, my recommendation, if you can get these sides unlocked before Wednesday and you can do this deal before Wednesday that would be the best way to go just in case it goes up now if it does go up it's probably going to go up to like a you know a dollar 99 on sale to a dollar 49 you're still going to get a freebie and some money maker most likely it just won't be quite as good um, but hopefully you get this huge money maker and a big thank you to I think it's Lori my rebate on the cranberry sauce is $2.65. It's on the mega sale for $0.99. Cents. Nice little money maker. So thank you for pointing that out in the comments. All right, let's move on to some Kroger deals. Now, if you did not see my Wednesday video with all the mega sale deals, definitely go check that video out. Again, I'm going to have a bunch of things linked, linked at the very end of this video, so please check those out. Um, there's a lot going on, not to mention that we also have Walmart Black Friday coming up. And uh, that's going to start on Wednesday, and I actually have a video out for that. So lots of things you will definitely want to be checking out on my channel. You may want to spend the whole morning just watching my videos, to be honest with you, if you haven't seen them all. But anyway, we're going to move on to some Kroger deals. And some of these are going to be a part of that Thanksgiving meal from Ibotta as well. All right, so the first one we have here is the McCormick Gravy Mix. Now, I, uh, the Ibotta rebate is only for $1.15, and Kroger has them for $1.33, no sale price. So you could would pay that out of pocket, get $1.15 back. It's supposed to be free, but it will cost you $0.18. Cents. However, if you're getting the cranberry sauce and the other items that are going to be freebies and money makers, $0.18 cents is really nothing. Now, I'm pretty sure this is probably the price that they are at Walmart. So if you happen to go to two stores, you may just want to save this rebate for Walmart. But if you're like me and you don't necessarily want to go to multiple stores, just grab it. It's 18 cents. It's not a big deal. But if you're wanting f completely free, you can definitely do that. The next one is the mashed potatoes here. Now these are regularly priced at $1.50. I was kind of hoping we'd get some sort of you know, sale price on these, but that's okay. They're still going to be free in a 10 cent money maker. You'll pay $1.50 and then you'll submit to Ibotta for $1.60 back on one. It's limit of one time. Final cost is free in 10 cent money maker. Now, the funny thing is, my mom would be, you know, just you know, horrified to have to make mash instant mashed potatoes like she makes like real mashed potatoes and i've made them too um but i actually make these quite often my my kids love mashed potatoes and this is really a great brand and everything so just kind of a funny little thing um if nothing else get them and donate them you know there's somebody that could use them this thanksgiving for sure next deal is the jiffy corn muffin mix now uh just be you know, sh sure that you're scan them in store, make sure you've got the right one. I'm not sure if it has to be just the corn muffin mix or if you can get, you know, a different type. But anyway, these are regularly priced 65 cents. It's a very small sale price of 64 cents. Don't break the bank there, Kroger. Out of pocket, you'll pay 64 cents. Submit to Ibotta for 75 cents back on once, limit of one time. Final cost, completely free and 11 cent money maker. So nice little freebie and money maker there as well. I'm got to get these unlocked though. I only have 10 offers. I just, I don't know. I didn't go to the store this weekend, so that's why. All right. So in my Wednesday video, I did do the deal on the Heinz homestyle gravy, but now this time I'm going to put the stuffing with it. So I know many of you are going to be shopping for um, Thanksgiving meal items and um, I, I wanted to put this deal together for you. So uh, what you want to do is grab one of the Heinz Homestyle Gravy 12 ounce that's regularly priced $2.99 on sale for $2.50 and one of the stovetop stuffing 6 ounce that's regularly priced $3.29 on sale for $2. There's a dollar off two digital coupon. Now it's for both of them. So if you wanted to get two stovetop, you could. If you wanted to get two of the Heinz, you definitely could do that. 
or just grab one of each. I'm doing this scenario as one of each. Um, if you want to see the scenario with two of the gravies, I have that in my Wednesday video. Anyway, out of pocket for both products is going to be $3.50 total. And then we're going to submit to Ibotta for $0.35 cents back on one limit of five times for the gravy and submit to Ibotta for $0.50 cents back on one five times for the stuffing. That's going to leave you at a final cost of $2.65 total or just $1.33 each. You know, not bad there. Nice little savings for you there. All right, next deal here is the Pillsbury Refrigerated Baked Goods deal. Okay, so let me be clear on this. Um, you can do this deal or there is a deal with the weekly digitals I'm going to show you. So take that into consideration. These are regularly priced $3.79. Um, you want to grab three of them. They're on sale for uh, $3 each. Now, there is a dollar off two digital coupon. There's also a dollar off three digital coupon. Now, I actually already used my dollar off three digital coupon in October. So it's just showing that it's it's redeemed, but you may not have redeemed yours. So either way, you're getting a dollar off. Out of pocket would be $8 total. Then we're going to submit to Ibotta for $0.75 cents back on one limit of five times. And then also submit to Fetch for 1,200 points when you buy three, a limit of one time. That's going to leave your final cost of $4.55 total or $1.52 each. And again, you may want to hold on this one because I'm going to give you a different scenario for different products, but still that Pillsbury refrigerated stuff um, in the weekly digital matchups. All right, next deal we have here is the Rosina Meatballs, 26 ounce. These are actually really, really good if you've never tried them. They're regularly priced $8.49, so they're kind of expensive. Grab two of them because they are on sale for buy one, get one this week. So you're just going to pay for one of them, $8.49 total or $4.25 each, which is a much, much better deal. And like I said, these are really, really good. So I highly recommend them, especially with a 50% savings on each bag. All right, next deal we have here is the home bake uh, deal. So we have a main dish that's regularly priced $13.49 that's on sale for $9.99. And we have a side dish that's $8.29 on sale for $6.49. Now, we also have a two off two digital coupon uh, that will work on any of these. So out of pocket is $14.48. If you grab one main dish and one side, we're going to submit to Ibotta. Ibotta is giving $4.50 back on one for the main dish. It's a limit of one time. And then submit to Ibotta for $2.50 back on one for a side. It's a limit of three times. And I should also note there's two different rebates for the sides. There's the veggie and then there's the other types of sides. So just take that into consideration that um, you have them all clipped to so make sure you get what you want. Um, but the final cost ends up being $7.48 total or $3.74 each, which I think is a pretty decent deal. Now, I did get a comment from Teresa about this deal. Um, I did not have this great deal that she had. She said, I went to Kroger today and noticed the home-baked meals in the frozen section were on sale for $4.99. I would love that deal, but mine are still on sale for $9.99. Uh, for the meals. Uh, normally they are $9.99. I remember I had an Ibotta offer also. I thought it was $2.50, but it was $4.50. I'm wondering if your sides were on sale for, for you'll have to tell me in the comments, Teresa, for $4.99 instead of $6.49 like mine are, and just it attached the wrong rebate. Uh, so I got one meal for 49 cents. I would have gotten more if I'd realized it was that big of a rebate. Select varieties are on sale, so make sure to check the prices. And there are some other rebates that are less, so check your about it. Make sure it is for the 450. Great deal. Yeah, really, really great deal, Teresa. I don't know what uh, where you're from or what your region is, but obviously our sale prices are slightly different than yours. So if you are lucky to have the sale price that Teresa has, you may have an even more amazing deal. And she does say it was a main meal so I, I think you just got really really lucky on that so um but anyway either way it's still an amazing deal all right next deal we have is the teenage mutant ninja turtle pizza now these are regularly priced 6.99 which is crazy high seven dollar pizza that we're going to get for just three dollars on sale which is a Really great deal. Um, so out of pocket, pay $3. And then Ibotta is giving $1.50 back on one, a limit of five times. So that takes you down to $1.50 per pizza. Per pizza. <laughs> That's amazing. So, you know, you can grab four of these for $6. That would be less than what it costs to get one pizza at regular price. 
that's pretty awesome. And a big shout out and thank you to Ashley for um, posting this deal on a comment. It was a while ago. I apologize for not getting it up earlier, but the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle pizzas are two for six or three dollars each. I bought it has a dollar fifty back up to five times. They're dollar fifty a pizza, and she heard from a little birdie, I guess, that they are good. Um, I'm definitely going to grab these. Dollar fifty cannot beat that on frozen pizza. I don't really care about the fact that they're Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Um, just grab my kids some pizza. They'll eat them. I mean, this is an amazing deal. Thank you so much, Ashley, for posting that deal. All right, the next deal we have is the El Monterey uh, breakfast burritos. These are regularly priced $1.33. They are 10 for 10 or just a dollar each. Um, you're going to submit to Ibotta for 25 cents back on one. It's a limit of five times as well as Kroger cash back for 25 cents back on one limit of five times. That leaves you at 50 cents each for these. Really, really awesome deal. I, I'm going to stock up on these for my dad. Um, so I can't wait to go to the store and grab this deal for them because he loves burritos and he loves breakfast. So this is a great combination. <laughs> and for 50 cents, it's an amazing deal. All right, next deal here. I just find this an okay deal. I'm not in love with it. But uh, you want to grab three of the Crush Sodas, 12 packs. These are regularly priced $8.99. They're on sale $6.99 each when you buy three. So as you can see, it saved $2 each when you buy three or more is the offer that they're giving in the screen there. Um, so that's going to leave you with $20.97 total. But then we're going to submit to Ibotta for a dollar back on one, slim to five times. So it makes that final cost $17.97 total or $5.99 each. Now, this is much better than paying $8.99 each, but it still seems very high to me, and I'm not loving this deal. Um, but let me know what you think. Do you think this is a decent deal or not? So I don't know. I don't like it. <laughs> All right, next deal we have is the Dickinson's Witch Hazel Skin Care. Grab two bottles of these. No sale price, unfortunately. They're regularly priced $5.49. There is a one-time use of a two-off-one digital coupon. So with two of them together, it's going to be $8.98. But then we're going to submit to Ibotta for $4.68 back on two. It's a limit of one time. Makes your final cost $4.30 total or basically just $2.15 each, which is a much, much, much better deal. I'm going to be honest with you, I've never used this product. Um, it looks like it's a pore cleaner toner type thing. Let me know if you like this particular product. If you used it before, is it worth trying out? All right, let's move on to the next um, scenario. We have household event, the buy to save $10 instantly. Um, you can buy any of these two products. You don't have to worry about any kind of like hitting a certain threshold in money or anything like that. $10 comes off instantly. And uh, then you can, you know, pair these with coupons as well. Now, I have a, a, a two scenarios for you in my Wednesday video, but I have a, a new scenario for you that I wanted to show you. All right, so it is for the Scott 1,000 uh, regular roll, 1,000 regular roll. I guess it's one ply toilet paper. It's one ply. Uh, so I don't know what I think about this. Anyway, they're 18 count. It's regularly priced $20.99, which would bring you to a total of $41.98 total. The sale is $16.99, and it is buy to get $10 off instantly, plus there is a dollar off one digital coupon that is attaching. So out of pocket, it's $22.98. Then we're going to submit to fetch for $13.50 when you spend $15, which is basically $1.35. And it leaves your final cost at $21.63 total or $10.82 each. So coming from that $20, $21 price point down to less than $11, it's a pretty decent deal. Again, though, with one ply toilet paper, I kind of want to pass. Now, no worries. We're going to use this fetch rebate on an updated deal in the weekly digitals. So let me show you that. I think that deal is a little bit better, but I did want to put this out here for you. All right, let's move into our five-time weekly digital deals. Now, again, I have a ton of matchups for you that are already listed in the Wednesday video. What I'm going to do now is show you a two new matchups that um, have popped up. So let me show you these particular deals this week. Remember, these are digital coupons that you have to load into your account, and then you can head to the store. You can grab up to five of them in one transaction. The coupons are one and done. They are also store coupons, so we can pair manufacturer coupons and rebate apps with them. 
All right, so here is the Scott Comfort Plus bath tissue. Now, this is not the one ply. It's a little bit nicer, and it is a 12 count. These are regularly priced $6.79 on sale for $5.49, but they're going to be $3.99 each with a five-time weekly digital coupon. So I want you to grab four of them for this particular deal. Out-of-pocket is $15.96. Then we're going to submit to fetch for 1,350 points when you spend 15 or basically $1.35 back. That's going to leave your final cost at $14.61 total or basically just $3.65 each. Like I said, I think this is a little bit better of a deal because the product is better. Just my personal opinion. But uh, let me know what you think. Which one would you rather do? Let me know in the comments. One other note, that digital coupon is not attaching to this product, that dollar off one. So you cannot put that in the mix with this. Um, but uh, there you go. All right, the next deal is a Pillsbury pie crust deal. Now, just take note that this is going to be using some of the coupons and um, rebates that we talked about with the Pillsbury, like crescent rolls or um, biscuits or whatever. Uh, so you kind of have to pick and choose which deal you want to do. So grab three of the Pillsbury Pie Crust to count. They're regularly priced $5.49. They're on sale for $3.99 each, and they're going to be just $2.99 each with a five-time weekly digital coupon. Now, we're going to pair that with a $1.25 off three digital coupon. I unfortunately used mine in October, so I don't have that option. And the dollar off two digital that I showed you earlier is not attaching to the pie crust, unfortunately. So if you happen to have the coupon still, out of pocket is $7.72. We're gonna submit to Ibotta for 75 cents back on one, limit of five times. So you're gonna get back, what, a 225 there? And then submit to Fetch for 1,200 points or $1.20 back when you buy three. Final cost ends up being $4.27 total or $1.42 each really good deal here for some pie crust so i have some comments and the first one is from amy stotts and she is the one that let me know about the pillsbury pie crust but i'll get to that in a second she said hey shana yes the dole and ocean spray are 99 cents this week so this is from my um ad preview uh, we're going to see those go up next week I got mine for some upside down cake. My store has been out of the green beans since the first day of the sale. So that's the uh, green giant. I've been hearing that a ton um, on the comments. So, uh, you know, how, how, has anybody found it? So let me know in the comments if anyone has found them. Uh, they should have made all cuts of green beans part of it, but only one type are. So that's very interesting. That might be why. Uh, this is where she talks about her favorite deal isn't a mega deal, but it's the Pillsbury Pie Crust 2.99 times three, five times. Uh, sorry, five time digital. Uh, now she is a dollar twenty five digital, but her, and a two twenty five back from Ibotta, and a dollar twenty back from Fetch. Um, and she said, "I'd like to do it two more times." And uh, oh, and I need to get the Maxwell House and get the two dollars Ibotta. Now check your Ibotta, Amy, and everyone out there. And so Maxwell House is going to be a weekly digital this next week, starting Wednesday. But my Ibotta is expiring in one day, so it looks like we're going to be just short of getting it. So check your Ibotta and see if you're going to have Maxwell House for Wednesday. If you do definitely go grab it. But um, I always ask about like, what is everybody doing for Thanksgiving? And she said, mom, and I've um, always made a huge Thanksgiving dinner and hauled it out to my uncle's house to feed 18 of us. Mom hasn't been able to, to do a lot in the past few years. So it's been a lot of work falling on me, the one who doesn't eat the food. I'm so sorry, Amy, but thank you for being such a sweetheart and taking care of your family. All right. Some other comments that were made. One of the questions I asked you in the ad preview video was, what do you call soda? So I've always called it soda my whole life. I grew up in St. Louis, called it soda. When I came out to Kentucky, people called it pop. People called it Coke. People called it soda. I've heard everything. Um, and uh, and I've lived in different places. I've lived in Kentucky, Central Kentucky, Northern Kentucky, and I've also lived in Central Illinois. Um, so I've heard quite a few things. But I had a few people comment. Um, Julie said soda boot hill of Missouri. Funny thing is I'm actually kind of technically from that area. I think, I mean, I, I never lived there or whatever, but, um, my, uh, 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 my birth parents live there. Um, I've never met them or anything, but I know that's where they're from. Um, and so that's kind of interesting, but I've always called it soda living in St. Louis. And the next thing we have is Rhonda who says it's called pop. 
We also have the um, SMC. It's called it a soft drink. So I guess that's true. I've heard that before. Like that wouldn't throw me off. Soft drink wouldn't bother me, but, but I just don't like, I don't know, pop and Coke just don't work for me. Um, then, uh, Stephanie said, thanks for getting us the deal so early. I call it pop in central Illinois. So I actually, uh, lived in central Illinois and worked in central Illinois. I lived for two years, um, in Champaign, uh, Illinois, Champaign-Urbana, while my husband went to grad school, and I also did grad school there, uh, and then I worked in Atwood, Illinois, which is this really, really small, small town, and then after he finished grad school, uh, we moved to Decatur, really it's um, Mount Zion, but Decatur people know in central Illinois, and uh, lived there for three years, uh, and my husband worked in Shelbyville, and I worked in Atwood, so I don't know if you live any of those areas, but I would love to know where you're at in central Illinois, or and you probably know what I'm talking about if you live in central Illinois. All right, next, um, we had one more here, soda, but I was raised pop. All right, Sheila, you, I'm glad you changed to the good side, the soda side. <laughs> all right, guys, that's all I have for you. If you like this video, please give it a great big thumbs up. If you still want to vote on what you call it, feel free to leave a comment below on pop soda or soft drink or Coke or whatever you might call it. And let me know where you're from, too, so we kind of get an idea of what areas call it. But it's so interesting how people say different things different ways. Have a wonderful week and a happy Monday. I will see you all later. Bye, guys.